The Controversial Side of President Woodrow Wilson, 12 Disturbing Facts Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States, is a figure often celebrated for his progressive ideals. However, a deeper look into his tenure reveals a series of controversial actions and beliefs. Let's delve into 12 unsettling facts about Wilson that have made historians and scholars rethink his legacy. Fact number one. A proponent of white supremacy. Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president of the United States, has been extensively critiqued for his deeply ingrained racist views, which were profound even by the standards of his time. Born in the South shortly before the Civil War, Wilson's upbringing and environment significantly influenced his perception of race. While many of his contemporaries subtly endorsed white supremacy, Wilson's endorsement was overt. He believed in the inherent superiority of the white race and often upheld the ideologies propagated by white supremacists. This deeply prejudiced mindset was evident in his policies, particularly when he approved the segregation of several federal offices. Number 2. Laudation for The Birth of a Nation In 1915, a film titled The Birth of a Nation by D.W. Griffith was released, which is infamously known for its portrayal of the Ku Klux Klan as heroes and its deeply racist depiction of African Americans. The movie's presentation resonated with Wilson's personal beliefs, leading him to not only screen the film at the White House but also openly praise it. His reported comment, It Can Tell History With Lightning, underlined his approval of the movie's controversial narrative. Such an endorsement from the highest office in the land gave the film an unwarranted legitimacy and further empowered white supremacists. Number 3. Women's Rights, An Afterthought Wilson's presidency witnessed the historic passage of the 19th Amendment in 1920, granting women the right to vote. However, it's crucial to note that Wilson was not initially in favor of women's suffrage. He believed in preserving the status quo and had reservations about women participating actively in political processes. However, the relentless efforts of suffragists, massive protests, and the undeniable wave of public sentiment in favor of women's rights forced Wilson to change his stance. By 1918, facing immense public pressure and recognizing the strategic political importance of the amendment, Wilson grudgingly began to support the movement, leading to its eventual ratification. However, his late support is often seen as politically motivated rather than a genuine change of heart. Number 4. Prohibition and its Consequences President Woodrow Wilson was a fervent advocate of prohibition, which sought to ban the production, sale, and transport of intoxicating liquors. He believed that banning alcohol would lead to a more moral and upright society, free from the ill effects of drunkenness. In 1919, the 18th Amendment was ratified, making prohibition the law of the land. However, while the intention behind prohibition might have been noble, its implementation led to a surge in organized crime, illegal speakeasies, and the widespread production of moonshine. This illicitly produced alcohol lacked quality control and often contained toxic substances. As a result, many unsuspecting Americans fell ill or even died from consuming tainted beverages. Instead of ushering in a period of increased morality, prohibition inadvertently caused more harm than good. Number 5. The Aftermath of the Treaty of Versailles In the aftermath of World War I, Woodrow Wilson played a pivotal role in drafting the Treaty of Versailles. He went to Paris with his famous 14 points that emphasized peace and justice. However, the final treaty, heavily influenced by France and Britain, imposed severe reparations on Germany and led to significant territorial losses for the nation. While Wilson had hoped for a peace without victory, the punitive measures against Germany fostered a climate of deep resentment, economic instability, and national humiliation. These factors created fertile ground for extremist ideologies, and by the 1930s, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party capitalized on this discontent, ultimately leading to the outbreak of World War II. Number 6. A Presidential Victory by Chance The 1912 presidential election is noteworthy in American history for the unique circumstances surrounding Wilson's victory. 
The election saw a rift within the Republican Party, leading to a division of votes between its two major contenders, Theodore Roosevelt and William Howard Taft. Roosevelt, dissatisfied with Taft's policies, decided to run as a third-party candidate under the Progressive Party, also known as the Bull Moose Party.